Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. This is my top 10 video on the most beautiful white actresses of the 1990s. If you want to watch my video on the most beautiful black actresses of the 90s, the link is in the description box. Starting off my list at number 10 is Renee Zilweger. The movie that made Renee a star was Jerry Maguire, which came out in 1996. It stars Tom Cruise in her, and it's a romantic comedy. This movie is great. I've always enjoyed this movie. It's a guilty pleasure. And I've always thought Renee is gorgeous. She has a very unique look because she has the squinty eyelids. And she's always been insecure about her eyes. And this is why she had plastic surgery to change her eyelids. But I thought she should have left her eyes alone because that's what makes her uniquely beautiful. Coming in at number nine is Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt first became famous when she starred on the show Party of Five in the mid-1990s. And then she played in movies like Can't Hardly Wait, and I Know What You Did Last Summer. And once she played in I Know What You Did Last Summer, that's what made her a movie star. And this woman is gorgeous. She has the perfect hourglass figure. Coming in at number eight on my list is Sandra Bullock. Sandra is gorgeous. She has the girl next door type of look. She's not overly sexualized. She's not overly beautiful. She has the girl next door type of look. She's known for 1990s movies like Demolition Man, Two Weeks Notice, While You Were Sleeping. She's the queen of romantic comedies right next to Julia Roberts. Coming in at number seven on my list is Alyssa Milano. Melissa Milano first became famous on the show Who's the Boss? Back in the 90s, Alyssa was absolutely gorgeous, but she hasn't aged very well. And when you see her today, she's nothing like she was when she was younger. She's mostly known as an SJW feminist on Twitter, and this is why a lot of people don't like her nowadays. But back in the day, she was a sweetheart. Coming in at number six on my list is Pamela Anderson. Pamela is mostly known for posting for Playboy and starring on the TV show Baywatch. This show was on the air all throughout the 1990s and she was also known for her marriage to Tommy Lee Jones. She was one of the most popular women of the 90s. She hasn't aged very well, but back in the 90s, she was like Kim Kardashian back then. The same way everybody flocks to Kim Kardashian, back in the 90s, Pam Anderson was like Kim back then. Coming in at number five on my list is Angelina Jolie. Now back in the day, in the 90s, she wasn't as popular back then. She played in a few movies here and there, but she didn't become a superstar until the early 2000s. This is why she's number five on the list. But she was mostly known for the movie Gia, where she plays the motto who contracted HIV and dies. But she did a really good job in that particular movie. And she also starred in Original Sins. Coming in at number four on my list is Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone is mostly known for Basic Instinct. This was a 1990 movie it grossed $116 million at the box office, and this movie made her an international star. She was gorgeous back in the day. She hasn't aged very well, but back in the 90s, Sharon Stone was a Stone Cold Fox. Coming in at number three on my list is Julia Roberts. She's the only natural redhead on my list. And she's known for 1990s movies like My Best Friend's Wedding, Pretty Woman, The Pelican Brief with Denzel Washington. But Pretty Woman is the movie that made her a star. This movie showed how funny she is, how beautiful she is. 
that she could do it all. And this is why she became the queen of romantic comedy. At number two on my list is Catherine Zeta-Jones. This is a classic beauty. She has pretty eyes, her figure is flawless, and she's known for movies like The Mass of Zorro, The Phantom, The Entrapment. She played in a lot of great movies during the 1990s. But the movie that made her a star to American audiences was The Mass of Zorro, which came out in 1998. It grossed $150 million at the box office, I think Kath Rosita Jones is hands down one of the most beautiful women in the history of Hollywood. And the winner of my top 10 list is Jennifer Connelly. Jennifer actually started acting in the 1980s as a child actor, but after she turned 18, she started playing in more sexier roles. In 1990, she played in Hot Spot. In 1991, she played in Career Opportunities. And this was my favorite movie by her in the 90s. It wasn't a huge hit, but it's known as a cult classic. As she got older, she started playing in more mature roles, like A Beautiful Mind and Requiem for a Dream. This woman is a great actress. She wasn't just a pretty face, and she proved to everybody that she wasn't just a pretty face with all the Oscar nominations that she's gotten. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and share it on Facebook and Twitter.